Who's your target audience here? It's a photo essay book, and I would assume that anyone interested in beautiful photography and fascinated with our world's people living their daily lives, I would think that anyone over 18 would love the book. So what's the central message here? Well, the bonds we share as human beings are stronger, much, much stronger than the borders that divide us. Yes, that's good stuff. Why did you decide to make photography such a big part of your life? At 15, I was in the Strand Bookstore, famous store in Manhattan. I saw Cartier-Bresson's black and white photograph called Srinagar Kashmir. That's in India. It depicts Muslim women praying on a mountaintop overlooking the Himalayas. At that moment, I knew I needed a camera and I needed to go to India. I felt an instinctual need that touched my heart and soul. At 15, I fell in love with black and white photography. I can also add that James Nachtway, Sir Don McCullen, and the Turley brothers, along with McCurry, greatly influenced my desire to shoot humans in the most dire, difficult situations. Yoko Ono has one of your shots in her personal collection. What can you tell us about that? I took a photograph in Prague of the Lenin wall. Now, it was a picture of John Lennon on the wall, a painting. And, of course, I fell in love with it, took a picture of it. A monk was walking by, and on the photo it said, Love is a color only the blind can see. It was given to her through certain means, and she responded with such a wonderful letter of thanks, which I have on my wall. I am a Beatles fanatic, as well as a physician and a photographer. So why do you shoot these subjects? I have a deep interest in the poor, the downtrodden, those who have no advocacy, who roam the world uncared for, those who have both physical and mental illnesses, and I call them invisible. So with my camera, I make them visible so that the Western world gains a better understanding, hopefully an education on 3.6 billion people. Mother Teresa said there's two kinds of poverty. One is material. People got to eat, right? But there's a deeper, much greater hunger, and that's the hunger for love and the terrible loneliness of being unwanted, unloved, abandoned by everybody. And my duty as a physician is to help people, mend them. And I think that's why I shoot these subjects. But what makes your book relevant today? Well, the world's gone through a catastrophic pandemic. There's an extreme political divisiveness, violence in each city's bigotry, rampant in our nation. I think the bonds we share showcases that we are really more alike than different. We're bonded with love and that if we could just see that, our belief in God, family, no matter who we are, what we look like, we should know that the bonds are stronger than the differences that we have. And I think that needs to be said and can help society. Hey, we're all human. Why are we doing this to each other?